When it comes to Safar Rally, Kenya is a big name. There has been a stereotype that getting into Safar Rally, you need to have a lot of money, you need to have a rally car. But two gentlemen in the industry of Safar Rally are changing that narrative. Former rally driver legend Azar Anar and former rally navigator Abdul Sidi are now changing that narrative. They are telling you that with your low and normal car budget car, you can get into Safar Rally. This is the journey of a novice to a rally driver in this journey of Safar Rally. Continuously, people keep getting in touch with me, enthusiasts. Uh, how do I get into Safari Rally? And uh, Safari Rally is such a big thing, and uh, it's really fantastic. We've managed to be included in the World Championship calendar for next year. So, first of all, congratulations to the to the big team and the lot of effort that went into a lot of hard work to make sure that we passed the candidate event this year. So next year, Kenya is in the um, WRC. Now, what is lacking is grassroots. Where does somebody, an enthusiast, start? What does he need to do? And that is what we would like to, to change. Um, we have already planned an event end of this month, on 29th September. Obviously, for safety reasons, we want to run it on private land, a, a ranch. I've already done a route survey and uh, it's, a, it's a really lovely place even for public to come for a picnic and uh, to come and see the rally and so on. But more than most important is that we are including a category in the rally for complete novices. Someone who has never participated in an event but they have that dream. How do I get into rallying? How do I get into the safari rally? This is your chance. This is their chance. Please enlist. This Saturday there is a training by none other than Mwalimu Abdul Sidi at Ngara Sports Club. You are welcome there. To come and start learning. What do you need to know? How does a rally run? How are the route notes? What, what do you need to do to your car? But as I said, the unique thing about our rally this end of this month is that even with your normal vehicle, you are welcome to come and participate to enter the rally. Now, what you will be entering when you don't have the experience and you don't have a proper rally car is something we are call, calling rally training. It is not a competition, but you have to go through the whole process of entering a rally, the scrutineering, of learning the pace notes, of learning safety, of knowing how to follow the route, how to book into controls. And if you finish, you get a certificate that you have done rally training. Imagine someone who is just enthusiastic, they have been watching rally cars. Now, if you tell them, go and do a rally, they probably don't know how a driver works in the rally car, what the driver has to do, what the navigator has to do, how to find your way around on the route, how to prepare your car, what to be careful of, and so on. So that is what the rally training is all about, meaning 
from someone who is only an enthusiast to guide them through the, the theoretical and the practical part so they know and they know what sort of vehicle they need, what sort of safety things they need in, on the vehicle and how they can then go into rallying and go further to become good competitors. You know, Kenyans are very talented. So there could be many of these enthusiasts there, they've just not had that chance. This is their chance. Come, have a go, learn the ropes, and we'll guide you to become champions. recommend that uh, people come not with saloon cars because obviously it's a rally it is on uh, bush roads yes so a pickup normal pickup which you go to work with and so on is far stronger than a saloon car to go through the bush or a 4x4 car an SUV or something you know they are a bit higher the wheels are bigger they, they are more ground clearance so it is easier, easier for it to traverse the, the bush roads so we recommend instead of a saloon car, come with a pickup or a 4x4 or an SUV, yeah? But it can be your family car. Although your family will not be allowed during the rally, it will be just you and a navigator. Because you will seriously be following the rally route and trying to reach the controls and following the whole process of the rally. The difference will be between you because you do not have, in your normal car, you do not have the safety equipment. So you will not be competing, you will be learning, rallying. So you will be driving at sensible speeds and for trying your best to follow the route without getting lost and without damaging your car, without having an accident and so on. So that is the focus of the training. First, as I said, is that it is an opportunity for people to come and learn with their normal cars. Obviously, for safety, first and foremost, it is on private land where there is no boda bodas, matatus, other traffic and so on that we will have accidents with. Second, is that we will have safety marshals along the route to, make, to guide people and so on. Third is, starting this Saturday, there is safety briefing and training for all the newcomers to understand how to avoid accidents, how not to have problems and so on. So there's almost everything I should say for this training is about safety. <laughs> and, and then from the next step up, from a normal car, you will be able to see the other rally cars and see what safety things they have so that you can then decide whether you will look for an old rally car to buy and start rallying or you will modify your pickup or whatever put the safety items like roll bars, seat belts and so on and then you become a competitor with your car. Yes. So you have to go through a stage, learn that okay, oh, I need roll bar, I need seat belt, I need seats, I need this, 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 these are all the safety equipment to take part in a rally. But it doesn't mean you cannot take part in your normal car. You just can make some important modifications on it to make it safer then you will be allowed the next rally to be now a competitor in the same car. Or you can go and you can meet, we will introduce you to other people who have got rally cars and you can buy an old rally car, repair it, 
and you can take part now in a, in a proper rally car in the next event. So we, we have already scheduled the next event for December. Yes. So people can, can grow from just entering a training, yeah. next they can be competitors, then they get more serious competitors, they go up in the groups till they can now enter the Kenya Championship and the Safari Rally. Yeah. <laughs> This Saturday at the Ngara Sports Club will be a free rally training for you. You'll get a chance to learn what is in a rally car, what you need, the basics you need for you to get into Safari Rally. All you have to do is get yourself, pick your friends, tell them you have an outing to attend to. And that outing will be at Ngara Sports Club. There you will meet rally navigator Abdul Sidi and also rally driver Azar Anwar. They will teach you everything that you need when it comes to Safari Rally. And on the 29th, with your low budgeted car, you have got a chance to race with the gods. And the gods are the Safari Rally drivers. <laughs>